I'm going to edit two videos at once. I got Adobe CC open here. I got Premiere Pro. Or they're both Premiere Pro, but I got, um, what do you call it, CS6. And I'm going to edit with both. So here's what I'm going to do here. I'm trying to multitask. So let me switch over to editing. All right, and so over here, turn down my headset a little bit. What have I got here? I don't need this anymore. What I need to do is I need to actually, I'm going to play this safe before I just start deleting things. I'm going to open a new project. Let's see, I'm not going to open a new project. I'm going to new project. And what am I calling this? I totally forgot what I'm doing. Okay, lobe fin fish. Right? Hit OK on that. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get to my folder, drag in my pre edit of the lobe fin fish. All right, so we got that there. We're going to change the sequence settings so it changes to what we had. Now on this side, what do we have? We're going to get rid of the lobe fin fish. And I'm not going to bother opening up a new project. I'm just going to take in, let's say, da -da 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 this one. Take in this one. Right, and I'm going to change the sequence settings for that. And I don't, I'm, I'm not even telling you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just doing stuff. And really, it's just going to be up to you to decide not to be bored. Let's see if you can follow along. And oh, why is this open? I need to shut that down. I don't like this. Okay, this update for what do you call it? Steam, where's the where's the button to close it? That's the question. Is it here? Where's the button to close? So yeah, I'm not really digging this update. I don't like when you can't close something. It's creepy. So I'm gonna come over here, end the task. Look, here we go. Here we go. Close you, Gorilla Glue. All right, so. What I'm going to do here is mess with some audio. What it is is, if you look at the wave here, not fully pumped up, but it's fully pumped up here. So the very first thing I'm going to do is put cuts. I'm just going to put cuts where, see where the audio is big, and then the audio goes small. And the audio goes big again. And the audio goes small. And the audio actually stays pretty big. It actually gets big again. Right about there ish. And then right about here, there's a shift. And then I think that's it. Hmm. This can go here. All right, so what am I doing is a good old question. Well. I'm going to grab all these by holding on and hit control T and it's going to put transitions. All right, it even put a transition in the front. Okay, now what I'm going to do is on this channel, I'm going to go to my audio and we have our essential sound. Oh, sorry, I just hit the mic. Uh, I'm going to go to preset and I'm going to look for, let's go with dialogue and 
How about, gee, I don't even know. Default, clean up noise, noisy dialogue, clean up noisy dialogue. How about we give this one a try? All right. And here we go. We'll put on our less clarity, repair, loudness, clean up noise dialogue, dynamics EQ. Here we go. Reduce noise, reduce rumble. And what have we done here? Clarity. Why is this not giving me clarity? Dynamics. There we go. Well, we'll reanalyze it. See what it does. We'll slap on an EQ. Oh my goodness, we don't want intercom. We want vocal presence. Maybe I didn't pick up. Maybe I didn't pick the right. Uh, yeah, let's roll with it for now. I don't like working backwards. In 1938, a South African fishing boat made headline. All right, so the question is, how do we preview without? Let's crank these dynamics up. Lines around the world when it captured a live coelacanth. The fossil fish had suddenly come to life, and with it, the possibility of studying its strange anatomy including fleshy fins that resemble limbs and a primitive set of lungs. Well, it was not believed the coelacanth became extinct around 18 million years ago. But in 1938, a living coelacanth was discovered in the Indian Ocean. This was near the southern coast of Africa. Oh, wow. What has it done? It's done this to my whole clip? Has it now? All right, let's go back to effects. Wow, it's done this to my entire thing. Okay, that's not what I was aiming for, but let's see what that's like. Mm, it hurt this clip. Help that clip. It hurt that clip. So the question is, why did that happen? Let's undo Control Z until we see these waves pop back up to the right size again. There they are. So very interesting. I'm not sure why. Maybe I need to have this selected in order to do this. We're just going to do it for my entire clip. That would not make sense if it did it for my entire clip, but let's just check. Preset. Let's do music. No. Let's do dialogue. Let's try the default. And we'll do reduce noise. Okay, now it's only on that clip. Okay, so here we go. So we'll do de-hum. We'll do de-rumble. All that good stuff. We'll do, we'll just throw on a DS, we'll do some dynamics, we'll do some EQ, we'll do voice, we'll do vocal presence, and we'll do, what is this, enhanced speech, I don't even know, let's click it on, let's do mail, creative reverb, and we'll leave that alone, clip volume, hmm, let's see what we got, ooh, it's, it's lost a lot of frequency now. We've lost a lot, so let's take off the EQ. Let's take off enhanced speech. Let's take off the DS, the hum. Take off the noise. A distant forefather that has remained. We don't need any of that. What's on dynamics? Evidence of an evolution. All right, let's take dynamics and we'll crank it. Fury missing link. Studies conclusively determine that today's coelacanth is not the same. It's probably all we need. So I'm going to take this, right click, copy. I'm going to highlight this, just this with Alt, hold Shift, grab just this and this. I'm going to right click and paste attributes. And we'll put all this stuff. And what has it done? We'll find out. In 1938, a South African fishing boat made headlines around the world when it captured a live coelacanth. You no, know, we just boosted with the dynamics. 
boys and girls, during the Devonian period, it is conclusively determined. Good. Never Good. Or are two times bigger than a hippo. Good. It's amazing, they survive. They have arms and it's losing arms or it's gaining arms. Alright, so, here's... Here's what I do want to try to do, and that would be slap on a limiter. Limit. Let's do the. Let's go with the hard limiter, and we'll stick that on here. And we have the limiter. Let's go back to our effects, and here we have the limiter. We'll just do a medium. And what does that give us? What is the gives us a negative two. We don't want that. We want a negative. Let's change that to there you go. Just right there. I'm gonna take that copy, that hard limiter, and I'm gonna just paste it there. Paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. Paste it. What that means is oh, look at that. We're hitting the, the red. Something's not good there. Something's not good with our limiter. What's happened to our limiter? Oh, our dynamics. Our limiter has gone before the dynamics. Had to move it. So, yeah, that doesn't make sense that the limiter would piece before the dynamics, but it seems like maybe that only happened with that clip. No, it happened with this clip, too. All right, and this one, limiter, this one, limiter has to come after dynamics, and then we should be good to go. Limiter, okay. Oh my gosh. 4,400 years ago. They said, yeah. So everything, look at the levels. Super boosted. And all we actually used was the dynamics and the limiter. Years. Moron. No, the Earth is not millions of years old. The Earth is about 6,000 years old. No, moron. And so, no, I don't even think I, I didn't even use the denoisers, the dehummers, and all that. I don't want to take out all the low frequencies and stuff. So, so I think we're good with this. This one can probably just be exported, even though I haven't watched it for continuity. But I'm going to export it just so I have. Just so I have. Uh, I think it's probably fine as is. So I'm going to shrink this down, and I'm going to send that to export. Now with now with Adobe CC, I'm using a target bit rate of 30 with Adobe CC. It's my size, a gig point four ish. Adobe CC, you can't, I can't send to Q. And maybe I'm missing the media encoder, so I'm just going to export that as is, and I'm actually going to change the name of it. Lobe fin fish. Um, da, 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 I'm just going to do lobe fin fish and send that on its way to export. All right, and then we'll move over here. I'm just going to pull a couple clips over here. So let's go ahead and just um, skip over to about here-ish. There we go. We want the little section about homosexuals. It's not okay. It's evil. There we go. That boy Zion is. All right. Here we go. I'm not ashamed. Now today, listen to me. Today there are issues. All right. Try it. You gotta do it. Just go. Just go with courage. Listen, people may go hide in holes, but I'm not going to. I'm not ashamed. Now today, listen to me. Today there are issues, aren't there? All right. So we'll begin right here. And 
we got. Listen, people may go hide in holes, but I'm not going to. I'm not ashamed. And we'll come right there, and we'll stop. And we will double click in here and follow the look at we're right in the spot where we need to be. And what do I need? I need an intro. Intro short and sweet. I wonder what that is. Intro 2019. Let's let's just see what those are. They're coming in. Alright, so this is Clean 2019, and let's see what short and sweet is. Okay, so it's shorter. So we'll take the short and sweet one. We'll slap that beast right here. All right, and then what I'm going to do is go to my effects, put on some constant power, put on a cross dissolve here, and the cross dissolve is going to have to end right here where the flash of light is. Now today, listen to me, today there are issues, aren't there? Hmm. I can holes, but I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not ashamed. Now today, listen to me. To I need to cut this. And shift it over to right. I want this break right here to be right there. All right. And if we want, we'll fade out here and fade there, but we'll see what happens. Now today, listen to me. Today there are issues, aren't there? Now today, listen to me. Today there are issues, aren't there? That Christians are silent on because of the flag that you cast for it. And we need some people with courage to say that's evil. That's evil. God, God's not okay with it. God can help you. God can save you, but it's not okay. And by the way, I'm not okay with it, and I don't care what you call me. I don't care what you say about me. It's not okay. And we just deal with the issues. We can deal with adultery, people shacking up, living together in sin, in the church. Okay, I'm going to do something else. I hear these little noises in the background. They're bugging me out. So what I'm going to do is take this clip here and drag it in. And this one has music on it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this clip instead because it's just a little more dramatic. Now I just gotta find the spot. We gotta let this thing load up. Over here, it's taking a moment. How's our thing exporting? Oh look, it's already at hundred percent. This is not taking this is not going fast though right here. I can't get audio yet. Let me undo undo okay here we go listen people may go hide in holes but I'm not going to I'm not ashamed now today listen to me today there are issues aren't there all right so come on give me some audio I need some audio I don't see the wave showing up just yet here there it is here it comes Okay, I went too far. We have people hiding in holes, people hiding in rocks. In Christianity. No. Nope. What his preacher mother did. Here we go. We need some people have some courage, but you know what Christians do? They hide in holes. They hide in rocks. All right, here we go. People up. They're in sin in the church. All right, where are we getting at here? And in the world. It's a problem. 
It's the death. Okay, well, the God can help you. That's evil. And we need some people. Today, listen to me. Today, they are. I think I just want to start right here. They go hide in holes, but I'm not going to. I'm not ashamed. Today, listen to me. Today, there are issues. Aren't I don't even need this intro. I don't even want the intro. There's no point. I'm just going to start it here. I'm going to get my little static, my little static clip. How about my tack time static cut? We'll take that. Oh, wait. I thought I had a new one. I have a new one. Tack times local cut, tack times static cut, tack times. Where's my cut? CT. New. Here we go. We'll take the new one. And we'll stick that right here. Uh oh, what happened to my sound? Now today, listen to me. Today there are issues, aren't there? We'll cut it right here. This is a better intro, I think. Shorter to the point. Now today, listen to me. Today there are issues, aren't there? That Christians are silent on? Because of the flag that you cast for it? And we need some people with courage to say that's evil. That's evil. God, God's not okay with it. God can help you. God can save you, but it's not okay. And by the way, I'm not okay with it, and I don't care what you call me. I don't care what you say about it. It's not okay. And we just deal with the issues. We can deal with adultery. People shacking up, living together in sin, in the church, and in the world. It's a problem. It's the detriment of our society. It is destroying families, and it's any family that's destroyed has children who are literally damaged goods. And by that, I do not mean God can't heal them, but they're damaged goods. It messes the people up. And it's not okay, and God's not okay with it. There are homosexuals. They are proud to be in bondage to sin. And our society lauds them, applauds them. Last week, the last week that Dwayne Wade, the best player of the Miami Heat have ever had, the last week story about Dwayne Wade's last week playing basketball wasn't even his basketball, it was that they support his homosexual son. That's wicked. It's not okay. And Dwayne Wade, great basketball player, is trashing his child. Him and the trashy woman that he's married to. They're destroying that child. And it's not okay. We need people to have courage to say, you know something? That's evil. That boy Zion is going to be wrecked because of what that father's doing. And he was wrecked because of what his preacher mother did raising him. It's not okay. It's evil. And we need people to just say it. And just go ahead and say in public, listen, they're pushing the gay pride parade. They're pushing the kids out there in public. And somebody needs to say to the kids, hey, kids, this will mess you up. This will wreck your life. This will take you down a road that is very, very difficult to get off of. And God's against it. You know something? I'm not going to apologize for something God's against. I'm not sorry about that. We need some people to have some courage. But you know what Christians do? They hide in holes. They hide in rocks. And I, for one, am not one to say a homosexual can't be saved. God can save anyone. And I've seen homosexuals come to Jesus. But they won't get saved by our saying it's not a sin. They won't get saved by our mocking their sin. They won't get saved by our overlooking their sin. We need some people with courage. We have people hiding in holes. People hiding in rocks in Christianity. And believers are a mockery. They're mocked by the way. They're in holes, they're in rocks, they're in caves, they're hiding. You know something, Christian? If you're going to wait for other people to do it, you're going to hit the grave. Uh-oh, what happened? I cut, I cut off too much. You're going to hit the grave before you ever find something to stand up first. You know, sometimes we as believers... That might be the end right there. You know, sometimes we as believers would do well to just get backed into a corner. To where it's fight or die, but no flight. I don't like fight or flight either. That's another phrase I don't like. It's fight or die. That's that's the way. 
I think a courageous person's wife. No man who's self-respecting can look in a mirror and be afraid of people. I grew up with guys. Yeah, we don't need all that. Backed into a corner. To where it's fight or die, but no flight. Maybe there. And maybe we'll put this in the front. Oh, I just did the wrong thing. Gotta push insert to pop that in there. And I think I might cut off. Issues aren't because of the flag that you cast for it. And we need some people with courage to say that's evil. That's evil. God, God's not okay with it. God can help you. God can save you, but it's not okay. And by the way, I'm not okay with it, and I don't care what you call me. I care what you say about me. It's not okay. And we just deal with the issues. We can deal with adultery. So. Heal them, but they're damaged goods. And it's not okay, and God's not okay with it. There are homosexuals. How am I going to do this is the question, because this whole clip right here. There are homosexuals. I said I'm going to stand up first. I can't heal them, but they're damaged goods. And destroying families. homosexuals. It's the detriment you say about it. It's not okay. And we just deal with the issues. I think I'm going to cut this section out to make it shorter. Where it's fight or die. And I think I'm going to cut this section out. So, what do we have down to? Okay, so we have a short. We are down to 2 minutes 46 seconds. Let me see where we are right here. Care what you say about it. Put my cross a little dissolve. The issues. There are homosexuals. There are deal with the issues. There are homosexuals. Music needs to fade a little more than that. Deal with the issues. There are homosexuals. There we go. They are proud to be in That's it. Growing families and it's anything, I mean, God can't heal them, but they're damaged goods. It meant, not okay, and God's not okay with it, and I don't think they can before you ever find something to stand up first. Okay, so <clears throat> that's that. And also, we'll pull this out to the end. I'm going to put a cut here and I'm going to find the ending right there. And we're going to cut that out. And so now we're down to here. So we're just under three minutes. Cool. Cool beans. Good stuff. All right, that's it. So we're just right to the point. And we could put our little, where do we have it? Our Tech Times uh, logo, new logo cut. We can put that here. We can cut it and then insert it. Chop that down. Shrink it in. Pull that in. Chop that down. Um... And pull this out just a little more. Now today, listen to me. Today there are issues, aren't there? That Christians are silent on because of the flag that you cast for it. And we need some people with courage to say that's evil. That's evil. God, God's not okay with it. God can help you. God can save you, but it's not okay. And by the way, I'm not okay with it, and I don't care what you call me. I care what you say about me. It's not okay. And we just deal with the issues. 
There are homosexuals. They are proud to be in bondage to sin. And our society lauds them, applauds them. Last week, the last week that Dwayne Wade, the best player of the Miami Heat have ever had, the last week story about Dwayne Wade's last week playing basketball, wasn't well, even his basketball, is that they support his homosexual son. That's wicked. It's not okay. And Dwayne Wade, great basketball player, is trashing mm. his child. Him and the trashy woman that he's married to are destroying that child. It's not okay. We need people to have courage to say, you know something? That's evil. That's so maybe that's the title right there. Dwayne Wade destroys, destroying his homosexual son. Something like that, you know? Something that's going to be a little clickbaity. Dwayne Wade, homosexual son, or gay son. Let's just say so, gay son. Dwayne Wade supports 11-year-old... Oh, my goodness. He's 11. Oh, my goodness. Dwayne Wade. My goodness. So, here's our... We're on low fin fish here. That's not what we want. Okay, so, Baptist... Preacher condemns Dwayne Wade for des destroying gay son. I'm going to have to take off Baptist because this title's a little too long. Pastor. How about Pastor? Pastor condemns Dwayne Wade for destroying gay son. Catchy? I'd say that's kind of catchy, sort of. That boy Zion is going to be wrecked because of what that father's doing. And he was wrecked because of what his preacher mother did raising him. It's not okay. It's evil. And we need people to just say it. And just go ahead and say it in public. Listen, they're pushing the gay pride parade. They're pushing the kids out there in public. And somebody needs to say to the kids, hey, kids, this will mess you up. This will wreck your life. This will take you down a road that is very, very difficult to get off of. And God's against it. You know something? I'm not going to apologize for something God's against. I'm not sorry about that. We need some people have some courage. But you know what Christians do? They hide in holes. They hide in locks. And I, for one... I'm not one to say a homosexual can't be saved. God can save anyone, and I've seen homosexuals come to Jesus, but they won't get saved by our saying it's not a sin. They won't get saved by our mocking their sin. They won't get saved by our overlooking their sin. We need some people with courage. We have people hiding in holes, people hiding in rocks in Christianity, and believers are a mockery. They're mocked by the wicked. They're in holes, they're in rocks, they're in caves, they're hiding. You know something, Christian? You're going to wait for other people to do it. You're going to hit the grave before you ever find something to stand up first. Well, the question is, I think I'm going to send this to my editor, as is, and tell him to maybe insert. Insert some clips, maybe. I don't feel like doing it. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Let's go to our channel. And let's just search for Dwayne Wade. Okay, son. Oh my goodness, here we go. That's all we need, right? Let's kill the volume so we don't uh, get copyright issues. And that's it, huh? That's it. 
Dwayne Wade's son critiques his dad's dunking. Oh, is his name spelled right? Well, I guess that's his son, right? We will, uh, Go ahead and download that. Gay son. <laughs> I search for gay son and this is what comes up. Single dad raises two sons while playing for Miami Heat. Poses nude for ESPN. Really? Pride parade on ocean. There we go. We'll get our little gay pride stuff going on in here. What happened? Give me some gay pride, please. Sorry, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to mock it. I'm just trying to say this is probably the footage I need. There we go. Just that. That's enough. We'll copy that. We'll post it in there. Maybe we won't give this to our editor after all. Maybe we'll just uh Maybe we'll just uh evil. What's evil? Interpol evil. I don't know about that. Evil, the problem of evil. Crash course philosophy, heart of evil. Wicked, wickedness. Um, wicked. No, this isn't working. Um, let's look for like devil. No, not quite. I guess I think we're probably fine with our clips here. Let's just go to show these in a folder. We have this and this, and we'll just drag them on in. Oh, we just dragged them on top of things. We didn't want to do that, so let's drag them back over here. Then we will. We're going to cut off the ending immediately. The ending can go. That's really super, super gay. All right, so let's go ahead and take this. And we're going to crunch down this. Actually, we probably don't need volume. No, we don't need volume. We'll just delete the volume the audio, we'll delete this audio, and we'll crank the motion scale up here, and we'll do the same over here, and we're talking over here, boom, gay pride parade, they're pushing the kids out there in public, and just go ahead and say in public, Listen, they're pushing the gay pride parade. They're pushing the kids out there in public. And somebody needs to say to the kids, hey kids, this will mess you up. This will wreck your life. This will take you down a road that is very, very difficult to get off of. Mm, we're going to kind of cut off some of that. Uh, we don't want to see that. Let's skip that forward. I want to cut out these fades I don't like. Fades like that. Oh, that's super gay. Ah, uh, no, we don't want to see that. I'll just cut it right here. We do not want to see that. Sexuals come to Jesus, but they won't get saved by our saying it's not sin. They won't get saved by our mocking their sin. 
They won't get saved by our overlooking their sin. We need some people with courage. We have people hiding in holes, people hiding in rocks in Christianity. Good. All right. So we'll take our Dwayne Wade. Best player of mine, he had in bondage to sin. And our society lauds them. And our society lauds them, applauds them. Last week, the last week that Dwayne Wade, the best player, wrecked because of what that father's doing. And he was wrecked. Because of what his preacher mother did raising him. It's not okay, it's evil. And we need people to just say it. And nice, we're doing good. People are just people are just say it. And we need people to just say it. And we need people to just say it. People are just say it. And just go ahead and say Last week, the last week that Dwayne Wade, the best player of the Miami, the last week that, last week that Dwayne Wade, the best player of the Miami Heat, many people will just say it and just go ahead. Like, yeah, it was better before. Last week, the last week that Dwayne Wade, the best player of the Miami Heat, have ever had, the last week story about Dwayne Wade's last week playing basketball wasn't even his basketball; it was that they support his homosexual son. That's wicked. It's not okay. And Dwayne Wade, great basketball player, is trashing his child. Him and the trashy woman that he's married to. They're destroying that child. And it's not okay. We need people to have courage to say, you know something? That's evil. That boy Zion is going to be wrecked. Is that his name? Zion? Let me check. Dwayne Wade Zion? Zion images. Well, whatever. We've researched enough of this. I think we're good to go. It's not okay. It's evil. And we need people to just say it. And just go ahead and say it in public. Listen, they're pushing the gay pride parade. They're pushing the kids out there in public. And somebody needs to say to the kids, hey, kids, this will mess you up. This will wreck your... There, we'll slow this down to like 50. And then maybe stick it here. Kids out there in public, and somebody needs to say to the kids, hey, kids, this will mess you up. The kids out there in public, they're pushing the kids. The kids out there in public, and somebody needs to say. Let me see. How about. How about if we find gay parade kids? Talking to, oh, look at this. Talking to kids about gay activists do with kids. Youth pride, history of pride. Kids at pride. There you go. Here we go. Here we go. We'll grab that with our 4K video downloader. For those of you who are not watching, go to the smart mode, format MP4 video, quality original, directory wherever you want, 4K video downloader, free download, any YouTube video, the best. Welcome to the world. 
the evil world we live in. Whoops, I spelled that wrong. And I'm on the wrong channel. Let me switch my account. Welcome to the evil world we live in. So let me check my channel. I just put this. It's already got 64 views. Come on, where's our where's our video? Show it in the folder. Let's bring it on in. Where was that again? Right here. Kids at Pride. We're going to have to zoom this in. I don't want to see text on the screen. I want to see. There we go, right there. They're pushing the kids out there. That's exactly what he said. Hey, How many people are just sick? In public. Listen, there people are just sick. Listen, they're pushing the gay pride parade. They're pushing the kids out there in public. And somebody needs to say the kids. Come on. Come on. Give me something good. Not go carts, not bumper, bumper carts. Is this junk? It's not what I'm. Oh, here we go. We'll show this little clip. We'll show that right there that's the shot right there's the shot they're pushing the kids out there in public and somebody needs to say to the kids hey kids this will mess you up this will wreck your life here we go Oh, right there. Let's show them right here. Right. Right here. Right. There. Makes me want to cry looking at this. Yeah. 
We don't need any of this. All right, so I think we're pretty set here. Listen, they're pushing the gay pride parade. They're pushing the kids out there in public. And somebody needs to say to the kids, hey, kids, this will mess you up. This will wreck your life. This will take you down a road that is very, very difficult to get off of. And God's against it. You know something? I'm not going to... I think we're going to skip that dude. I don't know what this guy's doing. Good, good stuff. Now the only thing is, <clears throat> don't want to add any footage here. God's not okay with it. God can help you. I don't care what you call me. I don't care what you say about me. It's not okay. We just deal with the issues. There are homeless. 
homosexuals. They are proud to be in bondage to sin. And our society lauds them, applauds them. Last week, the last week that Dwayne Wade, the best player of the Miami Heat, ever had, the last week story about Dwayne Wade's last week playing basketball wasn't even his basketball, it was that they support his homosexual son. That's wicked. It's not okay. And Dwayne Wade, great basketball player, he's trashing his child. Him and the trashy woman that he's married to are destroying that child. And it's not okay. We need people to have courage to say, you know something? That's evil. That boy Zion is going to be wrecked because of what that father is doing. And he was wrecked because of what his preacher mother did raising him. It's not okay. It's evil. And we need people to just say it. And just go ahead and say it in public. Listen, they're pushing the gay pride parade. They're pushing the kids out there in public. And somebody needs to say to the kids, hey, kids, this will mess you up. This will wreck your life. This will take you down a road that is very, very difficult to get off of. And God's against it. You know something? I'm not going to apologize for something God's against. I'm not sorry about that. We need some people have some courage, but you know what Christians do? They hide holes. They hide in locks. And I, for one, am not one to say a homosexual can't be saved. God can save anyone, and I've seen homosexuals come to Jesus, but they won't get saved by our saying it's not a sin. They won't get saved by our mocking their sin. They won't get saved by our overlooking their sin. But they won't get All right, so we're good to go. I'm just going to grab this last clip because I think there needs to be something towards the front. So we put a little cartoon since we're targeting kids. And we can immediately kill the sound on this. And we could show this little clip right here. It's not okay. And we just deal with the issues. There are there are homosexuals that are proud to be in bondage to sin. And our society lauds them, applauds them. Um. Guess that's it right there. I have this little clip right here. Right here. Right there. There, right there, delete. There are homosexuals. But the issues. There are homosexuals. There. There are. Whoops. Let me just test this clip. Nope. There are homosexuals. You can have this here and this here. There are homosexuals that are proud. They're Quaha Gay Pride Day. There are homosexuals that are proud to be in bondage to sin. And our society lauds them, applauds them. Last week, the last week that Dwayne Wade, the best player of the Miami Heat, we're good to go. So we got that's it. Now today, listen to me. Today there are issues, aren't there, that Christians are silent on because of the flag that you catch for it, and we need some people with courage to say that's evil. 
That's evil. God, God's not okay with it. God can help you. So, <clears throat> how about pastor condemns, whoops, Dwayne, is that spelled right? Let me make sure his name is spelled right. Let me make sure his name is spelled right. Appears to be so. All right. And we're going to change it to Dwayne Wayne. that pastor condemns Dwayne Wade amp and homosexuality pastor condemns Dwayne Wade and homosexuality how about that now today listen to okay and we just deal with the issues there are homosexuals that on these clips here, they look a little blurry, so I'm going to take a uh, da, 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 unsharp mask, slap it on there, go to my effects controls, put it at about 70, put this at about 3, if I go to like 6, what happens? E. Put this at 60, put this at five copy this paste it put the set two put the set 30 it's still blurry but better than it was okay and then I will copy paste these attributes there <laughs> Um, maybe base attributes there. Uh, if I were to take them off, let's take a look really quick. This one's a little aggressive. This one's actually the one that should be 30. Well, this should be more like 60. About to sneeze. Ooh, there we go. All right, so that's a little better. Copy. Come back over here. Remove effects. Right click, paste attributes. Good, good, good. And then over here, I'm not sure we want to make this clearer, but let's go here and right click, paste attributes. Ooh, good tire. and take this off. <sighs> That's going to be it. We're done. How long did that take? I don't know. But we're done. But we're done. All right, so we're going to export H264, my presets, which is this one. My 
pretty high preset. And then there we have it. Pastor condemns Dwayne Wayne and homosexuality. Or and gay son. Gay son. Try that. Cue it up. Have a nice day. This one's done. Let's close this. Let's check out our lobe fin fish. Oh, this one can go. This can get closed. These can get removed. Trash can get deleted. This is back. This is annoying. Steam. What is going on, Steam? What's going on here that you, you make it impossible to close you, that you keep popping back up? That's it. Where's my lobe fin fish? There it is. It's six, six minutes, 22 seconds. The Silkens is the most important zoological discovery of the 20th century. It had been known to 19th century paleontologists for a very long time. And they'd already determined from fossils that with the bones in its pectoral and pelvic fins, it resembled a transitional form between an aquatic and a terrestrial animal. In 1938, a South African fishing boat made headlines around the world when it captured a live coelacanth. The fossil fish had suddenly come to life, and with it, the possibility of studying its strange anatomy, including fleshy fins that resemble limbs and a primitive set of lungs. Well, it was long believed that coelacanths became extinct around 80 million years ago, but in 1938 a living coelacanth was discovered in the Indian Ocean. This was near the southern coast of Africa. Incredibly, these creatures have been living since the time of the dinosaurs. We're going to tell the kids that lobe finned fish show evolution. Yes, boys and girls, during the Devonian period, 410 million years ago, there were fish with lobe fins. What that means is a short arm and then the fin grows. Well, that's stupid, okay? The lobe finned fish are still alive. They're called the coelacanths. In the 1950s, it created a frenzy among researchers captures of specimens for the laboratory increased and scientists were able to examine these dead specimens for evidence of an evolutionary missing link. Studies conclusively determined that today's coelacanth is not the same creature that rose to the challenge of dry land. But research has shown that it is an ancestor of these animals, a distant forefather that has remained down in the depths, adapting itself to the abyss. In the stable environment of the deep sea, its appearance has changed very little in 380 million years, as if frozen in time. And when they found the first coelacanth in 1938, first folks, people didn't believe it. They said it can't be true because they died millions of years ago. When they finally proved, yes, they're still here, all they said was, wow, they survived for millions of years. <laughs> Never dawned on them to maybe question the whole theory. Never dawned on them. The most famous is probably the coelacanth. This fish is ancient. I mean like 65 million years ancient. The coelacanth was thought to be extinct, with scientists finding their giant fossils beginning in the early 19th century. Then in the late 1930s, one was actually found alive, hiding 2,300 feet below the surface of the ocean. When Dr. Roy Mackle went to Africa and did ex expeditions on dinosaurs still alive in the African swamp, University of Chicago microbiology professor Dr. Roy Mackle wrote this book. He went over there twice, interviewed folks who've seen living dinosaurs. While walking near the river with my son, he spotted something in the water. It looked like an object floating, so my son threw a stick at it. 
This object then started to move towards us. After 20 seconds or so, it then lifted out of the water, and that's when I saw it. I got a glimpse of what everyone had talked about. It had grey skin and it was very big, around two times bigger than a hippo. It had a large boggy head and a large body. We watched as it dragged itself on the bank. After this, it disappeared into the bushes. Since this encounter, I haven't seen it again. People who've never seen a white man, when he, when he showed them the Apatosaurus, they said, yeah, that's Mokele Mbembe. He lives out in the river. He's not friendly. Don't get close. <laughs> Dr. Mackle said, fellas, that's a dinosaur. They've been dead for 70 million years. The natives said, well, we're sorry. We didn't know about that. <laughs> All we know is we see him out there once in a while. So Mackle gets back, writes this book, and says, folks, there are still some dinosaurs alive in Africa. Then he says, it's amazing, they survived for 70 million years. Never will cross his brain that maybe your basic theory is wrong. Hell, that thought will never enter his mind, I don't think. It ought to. Globe fin fish are still alive, folks. But they said the coelacanth is an index fossil for a 40 million year old rock or something like that. They date the layers of rock by the fossils they contain, and then they date the fossils by the layer of rock they're in. Pure circular reasoning, pure stupidity. But they said for years, they said the coelacanth is the index fossil for this certain layer. They give it a name and an age and all that stuff. Then they found some alive swimming around the Indian Ocean. It has a short limb or arm before the fin. And they said, oh, that's proof it used to have arms and it's losing arms or it's gaining arms, whichever way, it's, if it's a vestigial or nation, <laughs> doesn't matter. And they found some still alive. And so they said, wow, this fish survived for 38 million years. <laughs> Moron. No, the earth is not millions of years old. The earth is about 6,000 years old. God created it. 4,400 years ago, there was a big flood that destroyed it. Everything has lived together in the last 6,000 years. So they're saying they find evidence that the coelacanth had lungs. Well, maybe it did. There are fish today that have lungs at certain stages of their life, and then they lose them for whatever reason and no longer need them. Maybe it's a developmental stage. The coelacanth, a very unusual fish, lives mostly in the Indian Ocean, I believe. Maybe they've been found elsewhere. So yeah, they may find fish with lungs, and what would that prove? They were designed that way. It's really pretty simple. But they just simply do not want to confess or admit God designed anything. So they have to figure out these crazy stories about how it evolved slowly over millions of years. And you're welcome to believe whatever you want to believe. If you want to believe your grandpa was a rock, you just enjoy yourself. Don't call it science. And don't expect everybody to not laugh at you judgment day when God shows how dumb that was. O oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so-called, which some professing have heard concerning the faith. Okay, so that one, we're going to change the name. It's not about the coelacanth. It is about the coelacanth, but it's about what it is. Is living index fossils disprove evolution living I spelled that wrong <clears throat> index fossils Um, I don't know, maybe that's not right. Living fossils expose evolution circular reasoning. Well, something like that, something to that effect. And so we have our other one, Pastor Condemns Dwayne Wade and Gay Son. 
Living fossils expose evolution circular reasoning. I think those are good titles. So let's see this one. Let's watch one more time and I'll crank the volume. We've been going a while now. An hour 15. All right, I'm going to crank this volume. I'm going to mute myself and we'll watch our one final edit that we spent our time with here. Ready? Go. You know, today, listen to me. Today, there are issues, aren't there, that Christians are silent on because of the flag that you'd catch for it? And we need some people with courage to say that's evil. That's evil, and God, God's not okay with it. God can help you. God can save you, but it's not okay. And by the way, I'm not okay with it, and I don't care what you call me. I don't care what you say about me. It's not okay. And we can just deal with the issues. There are homosexuals that are proud to be in bondage to sin. And our society lauds them, applauds them. Last week, the last week that Dwayne Wade, the best player the Miami Heat have ever had, the last week story about Dwayne Wade's last week playing basketball wasn't even his basketball, it was that they support his homosexual son. That's wicked. It's not okay. And Dwayne Wade, great basketball player, he's trashing his child. Him and the trashy woman that he's married to are destroying that child. And it's not okay. We need people to have courage to say, you know something? That's evil. That boy Zion is going to be wrecked because of what that father's doing. And he was wrecked because of what his preacher mother did raising him. And it's not okay. It's evil. And we need people to just say it. And just go ahead and say it in public. Listen, they're pushing the gay pride parade. They're pushing the kids out there in public. And somebody needs to say to the kids, hey kids, this will mess you up. This will wreck your life. This will take you down a road that is very, very difficult to get off of. And God's against it. You know something? I'm not going to apologize for something God's against. I'm not sorry about that. We need some people to have some courage, but you know what Christians do? They hide in holes. They hide in rocks. And I, for one, am not one to say a homosexual can't be saved. God can save anyone. And I've seen homosexuals come to Jesus, but they won't get saved by our saying it's not a sin. They won't get saved by our mocking their sin. They won't get saved by our overlooking their sin. We need some people with courage. We have people hiding in holes, people hiding in rocks in Christianity, and believers are a mockery. They're mocked by the wicked. They're in holes, they're in rocks, they're in caves, they're hiding. You know something, Christian? If you're going to wait for other people to do it, you're going to hit the grave before you ever find someone who'll stand up first. All right, that's going on our main channel. That's That one's going on our main channel. Um, I thought it was good. I thought it was pretty powerful. Pretty to the point, pretty short, concise. I think that needs to go on our main channel. So let's go there and go post it. And we'll just go do that. Even though it's kind of the same, maybe I should move the other one. We should move the other one over to the other channel, maybe. Um, yeah, let's put that there. And then let's consider removing this one that's already got 76 views and putting it to the other channel. <clears throat> it's nine minutes long. Similar message. I mean, it could stay here. It may as well stay here.
on second thought, it may as well just stay here and be content that's growing on this channel. Uh, I think what needs to happen is the other videos need to move to tack times two. The videos that are like straight up Kent Hovind or something. Because the idea here is to make original content, and I did shoot these videos myself, so it is original content. I shot them, I edited them. Um, so the idea here is to get a bunch of original content, which is going to be like this, the preaching, and then see if um, YouTube will re-monetize my channel, which I really don't expect or anticipate that to be the case but just to see if we try to play by their rules because they did tell me you know in their vague ambiguous letters that um, if I follow their program then um, I can reapply but I think their program involves a little bit more than uh, just putting original content. Anyway, that's all. We've gone on for way long. I'm like at a at the point of being delirious. I have had no sleep. It's 9:17 a.m. in the morning. I never went to bed. Been up all night working on various editing projects and so on and so forth and so we're going on to a minute or an hour see i'm delirious an hour 22 minutes and seven eight nine ten eleven seconds 12 and lucky 13 we're done